She'll be happy here, I think. Make a name for herself. The Umber Serpent. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. Strax, you're all right. You're not planning an attack on the moon again, are you? It had occurred to me that it would be ineffective. Humans will be up there in a century, so why show our hand too early? So, you're just watching it? I must admit, the moon above the ocean is quite a lovely sight. Wouldn't you agree, dear? <sighs> Second loveliest tonight, me ducks. I agree. You are gorgeous in the moonlight. Thank you, ma'am, but such compliments should be for your wife. <laughs> Got a bite tonight, Strax. In a good mood. Thoughtful one. Pleasant ones, I hope. A night like this before, back when I was with my Saltar and brothers, we never looked at the moon. Such an action would waste valuable time. Here, though. Such time is the most valuable. Shame we don't get lights like this more often. It is a rare reward for a life of battle. I wouldn't trade it in for anything. What happens if we don't get a case ever again? That day will come. It will. The day I'm buried. That day won't be for a long time. Ma, among my brothers, I am getting on a bit. It will be sooner for me than for you. I see. And I will meet that day with pride. I will not be joined in the afterlife by my brothers, but I can watch my new family, knowing you have given me the greatest of victory. <laughs> Thank you, Strax. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't think words are needed, my love. Let's just enjoy the moonlit water. Until the sun rises. That will be a beauty all its own.